Kind of picking up where I left off like three, four days ago. Good afternoon, beautiful people. Kind of picking up where I left off like three, four days ago. I am out here putting up electric line, my uh, hot wire for all of my animal fencing. It was a busy weekend. It was kind of, I didn't have a minute to come down here and do that. I ran around town, I did all sorts of stuff. It's apparently hard to find oil filters and oil uh, for certain vehicles. So if you change your own oil, good luck. I had a day of it on, what was that, Saturday. Anyways. I'm finally back to my electric lines. I get to hang all of my my wires and uh, all that good stuff. Where I was, I'm glad I left stuff out so I came out here and it was like, oh yeah, that's right. I was planting a post that I can wire this post to and bring it back over because for whatever reason it just wants to lean over this way. So I'm going to get digging. I'm going to plant this uh, secondary post, get this one straightened back out, pulled over to straight, get my wire and everything I need, and start stringing up to the last three poles that I have to connect. I'm glad I went with that that route that uh, is a little more secure and I was thinking mowing around that I think that'll be easier to mow than having one sticking out this way so that'll work it's all tight now all right on to the next one really I only needed like an hour more time to work on that probably could have wrapped it up in the dark with a headlamp but hey 
That's how it goes sometimes. I'm just glad it's done. All right, it is the end of the day. I realized now that I have live fence, I can actually put the pigs that are down here, Bubbles and Lamb Chomp, I can put them on the big Energizer. So I started doing that. We had dinner, interrupted, you know how it goes. I was like, oh yeah, that's what I was doing. So I'll show you. So last time I was at Tractor Supply, I was able to get this insulated line. This is like the kind of stuff you would bury underneath your driveway. But what I wanted it for is so I could actually have a wire that I could like grab and hook and unhook just because it's kind of a hassle to walk all the way up to the top to the shed and unplug the charger just so I can fix a fence or something. So it's really nice to have just a wire you can grab and unhook. I've thought about doing like the premier fences where you've got a little little alligator clip that you put on and off, but this will work just fine. Plus trying to find alligator clips. I hate shopping. I'm just, apparently I'm not a shopper. I think, I think it's been long enough. I can actually admit that. Like I don't like shopping. It frustrates me when you have a million and one options to go through and it's just like, I don't know. And then you end up ordering something and then it shows up and it's like the size of a pair of tweezers. It's like, I thought that was the size of jumper cables. Yeah, it's frustrating. I'm gonna go down here and finish hooking this up. I still have not hooked up this section of line yet. No, I don't have food, sorry. So I can show you what I'm doing with this wire right here. So I've got it ran down here, hooked up to their line and it comes up and then just hooks on that. And just that right there is enough to make it plenty hot. And then if I wanna take it off, all I have to do is lift up on it and unhook it. Highly convenient, especially if like you're down here and a lot of times, as you can see, they dig up the dirt and they're constantly burying the line. And this one, I actually have plugged in in the barn and so, you know, it's like, oh, I hope one of the kids is over there. That way I don't have to run all the way over there to unplug it, fix it, and then run back and turn it on. This way, it's out here with the pen, unhook it, all good. All right, let's see, where else do I need to hook this up at? This one actually needs a jumper to go from that leg to that leg. So I'll go cut a piece of wire and jumper them. All right, so one of the things that I don't hear, you guys hear it, I can't hear it until it's doing what it's doing now. The electric interference is picked up by this microphone and like it's just this horribly annoying click. Uh, anytime we're around any of the electric fences, you can hear it. That's, uh, that's one of those big examples of uh, the electric interference that's around us in all areas of our, uh, our life that we aren't aware of yet the camera can pick it up. Okay, I see where it's grounding out. Yay, that means I get to get in there. Mud hole. They've pushed up dirt against their house and buried it. Well, I'll have to go put on my mud boots, climb in there, I'm gonna have to feed them to keep them busy. Noisy, noisy pigs. I actually think that's a good place to end it. It's uh, time to start the nightly chores. Meg's got jury duty tomorrow, so I don't know if there's gonna be a video day after. It's just, you know how it goes. Get that letter in the mail and it disrupts your entire month. Alrighty, that's gonna do it for me for today. I will uh, pick this up tomorrow. It's supposed to rain tomorrow. All these clouds blowing in. They're saying we're supposed to get an inch of rain. I'll believe it when we see it. It's all right, I won't complain about the rain. It's gonna do it for us. Catch you guys on the next one.